Okay, as promised, I was going to show you guys how I was going to depot the NYX um, Ulta Mania Pro Mania shadows just because, as I said, um, you cannot stick a brush in the tube that it comes with. So it looks like this. Yeah, definitely can't stick a brush in there. So what you're going to need are containers and this is a 10 gram container and this actually is just enough like just enough room when you put in the sifter it actually overflows just a little bit but um, yeah it's just enough space for it so these little bottles actually come with a lot of product so you're gonna need of course your NYX pigments container and some scissors and something to bang the container with. I'm gonna use a coaster. I mean, I've seen people use brushes, but you could use anything that will help you just bang on the containers for the pot to fall out. So let's get started. I'm gonna bring you guys down so you guys can see. Okay. So I'm gonna do this one, and this one is the yellow gold. Pearl. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in the container. You guys can see that. Okay, I'm just going to use the coaster to bang the product down. Sometimes, like all the, the pigments, like the dust from it goes all over the place. So, make sure you have a napkin down. You guys can see that. Look at that. Which product that is in there. That's not even like half the bottle yet. Let's keep going. a lot of product in here guys like I would never realize that a small bottle has all this product in there oops It's pretty messy. Let's put the camera back more. Use your finger too. But I, fit, I figure something harder works.
one still has more product in there and this filled a 10 gram jar. See that? But when I did the other one, I already did one. And I did the blue one, see? And that came out actually just right. See, this is with the sifter and everything in there already. So I guess all the bottles come in different, I don't know, maybe a little bit more product than others. So, I mean, you guys get the point. So you just basically keep banging on it until all the, all the stuff comes out. Um, put in a sifter, but I'm not going to put in a sifter in this one just because I don't want it to overflow. Um, and what I do, so I'm going to close it up. it down a little bit. So I'm going to close it up so it looks like that. Then I'm going to take this tag off the bottle. Take some scissors and I'm just going to cut off the name part of it. I don't want the barcode on it. I'm just going to cut off the name. as neat as possible. Then we're just going to put that at the bottom. See right there? Oops. So that I can identify it instead of having it on the top. Just keep it plain and simple. But yeah, so here's the yellow gold. And I did one in turquoise pearl. So, I guess it really depends on the container, how much it could fit, but as you guys could see, there's still like half a bottle in there. So you might actually need to get bigger jars. I might actually need to get bigger um, jars than the 10 gram ones. But, um, yeah. So that's how I'm going to be depotting my NYX Ultra Pro pigments. If you guys have any other ideas of, or containers, you guys put them in just um, video response at the bottom. And um, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed just because I couldn't fit it all in these little containers. But that tells you you get your money's worth, right? So yeah, show me a video or something that or how you guys kept your pigments or how you guys organized these because I don't know. I'm trying to make it so that I, I'm starting to have a large collection and I'm just trying to minimize the space because I don't have much room in my room. But yeah. Alright, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.